Now, the final movement in this series, we're dealing with neo-expressionism. And neo-expressionism is really a reaction against some of the abstraction that we see in the 1980s. They're looking for more concrete forms. They're looking for more figurative art. And we're going to see a lot of market forces involved in this movement. So let's start with our definition. Neo-expressionism is a diverse art movement that dominated the art market in Europe and the United States during the early to mid 1980s. And it's comprised of a variety of young artists who had returned to portraying the human body and other recognizable objects in reaction to the remote, introverted, highly intellectualized abstract art production of the 1970s. So this is a reaction back towards the human form. The movement was linked to and in part generated by new and aggressive methods of salesmanship, media promotion, and marketing on the part of dealers and galleries. So like I said, there's a big market side to this. Now, neo-expressionist paintings, though diverse, presented certain common traits. Among these were a rejection of traditional standards of composition and design, an ambivalent and often brittle emotional tone that reflected contemporary urban life and values, a general lack of concern for pictorial idealization. They will use vivid but jarring banal color harmonies and a simultaneously tense and playful presentation of objects in the primitivist manner that communicates a sense of inner disturbance, tension, alienation, and ambiguity. Hence the term neo-expressionist to describe this approach because they're going back to a lot of those expressionist ideas. Neo-expressionism is going to be controversial, both in the quality of its art products and in highly commercialized aspects of its presentation to the art buying public. This is a time in the 1980s where the idea of collecting art as an investment is really taking off. And so we're seeing those market forces at play. Galleries competing with one another to pay more to the artist. Uh, the artist trying to get involved in the media for the first time. Now, to us, this is nothing new. After all, we live in an age of insta-snap a chatogram where artists are expected to put their art out there to really push their forms. But... If you go back, a lot of the artists that we dealt with, say in the early 20th century, weren't interested in marketing. That was for the galleries to deal with. They were interested simply in producing a piece. So now the artist is taking part in the promotion, and therefore we see some issues with neo-expressionism as some people see it.